Saturday afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to The Navigator. I'm Ryan. I'm your host. We're at mile marker 290 on 75 here, uh, just south of Cartersville. Uh, we're actually in Cartersville, but just south of the yard. We're stuck here in traffic on our way down to Fairburn to pick up a load to go down to Walmart, D.C. and Alachua, Florida. We got a little fender bender up here. Thought I'd just jump on real quick and... Uh, show this little fender bender. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. Do a check-in. This week was horrible. Freight was slow. But I'll say this is like one of the worst weeks I've had here at Millis in the year I've been here, so I can't complain. It's not their fault. Just how I, just how the freight is running and all that good happy horse crap and all. But anyways, um, when you get on accident scene, guys, get to the freaking left. We got this ACT truck up here that's staying right there in the drive lane. So what do we got? We got a little recovery team already out, out here, so it's been going on. So it looks like they started here on the right, hit the guardrail, went to the left, and crashed over there. Yeah. All in a U-Haul trail with all their personal possessions in it. That's all smashed up. All that. Oh, it was a Fox moving company truck. That family lost everything. That ain't good. That is not good at all, folks. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another episode with me, The Navigator. It is a little after 11 p.m. on uh, Monday, July the 22nd, 2019. We just left Albany. We're coming into the town of Warwick, Georgia on Georgia 300 here. Fun fact. Um, Warwick is home to the National Grit Festival every year in late late April, I guess it is. I believe it's national, but I think national's worldwide, I don't know. There's signs everywhere, but hey, Warwick, Georgia's known for their grits, I guess. But hey, uh, a little different this week. Instead of doing a 34 at the house in Eden, I did one down here in Albany. Uh, pulled in yesterday about 12.30. And uh, I had a load I could have taken home but I wouldn't have gotten home until today because I was in um, Alachua, Florida yesterday when I started. I was going to be short about two and a half, three hours. So I opt to do a 34 down here. Uh, they gave me a load, so I was able to pick that up this evening. We're headed up to Rock Hill, South Carolina to a beer distributor. First time ever going to this place. Uh, right now we got about a 30 minute window of cushion. So fingers crossed, nothing's gonna happen. We do gotta stop and get fuel in that time frame in uh, South Carolina. So uh, we're doing good right now. And uh, shouldn't have any issue making it to the appointment on time in the morning at 6 a.m. So this week it looks like I'll be running the night shift, something a little different. All right, look at this, y'all. Two trailers being hauled by a van. That's not safe. Not safe at all. The things you see on I-75 in the middle of the night. So we have made it up here to Rock Hill, South Carolina. Exit 77 on our state. 77. Made really good time. We tend to do that when you run uh, through the night. Not a lot of folks on the road. And the 
get up here on the left hand side what I saw on the map. About 380 miles. We drove since I said my shift. never been here before, so let me go check in and find out where we need to go. Well, folks, it's daylight now, and well, I'm unloaded. I'm heading to Columbia to pick up my next load. And I'm talking to the wolf man on my headset. But yeah. That's a nice 380 miles completed. We buy, well, by quarter of six we arrived, so. It's now 7 11. Time to head back south. I'm not going to get into any traffic. Go pick out the next load up, which is 340 miles, I think. So, can't complain. And I'm in the wrong lane. I gotta go this way. Get on southbound. Isn't that nice? <laughs> nice sunny morning. 81 degrees already. Good morning everyone, what's going on? A little after midnight on the 23rd of July. Um, shut down right around noontime or so today. Well, yesterday I guess it was now, the 22nd. Here in Madison, uh, Georgia off 20 at the Pilot. Um, I was gonna get up and run about 10 p.m. but freight's a tad bit slow right today. Yesterday, tomorrow, I don't know. So. They got me a load. I was supposed to go to Florida when I went to bed. 
if I didn't get loaded. So instead, I'm going to take this load up and drop it in um, Cottersville at the yard. And then I'm going to deadhead over to Buford to Cotton Old Glass and get up a glass load and then take that over to Greenwood. I believe it's Greenwood. Let me check here. Um, yeah, Greenwood, South Carolina, which is over by Abbeville. And deliver this glass load there about 7 a.m. Uh, I'll be early. Early is better than being late. So, new place, and um, I'll get some road footage of going to that new place. Never been there before, so should be fun. So, stay tuned. Alrighty, let's get on the road and get back trucking. like a truck. I don't think you can see it. Looks like a truck pulled in the wrong entrance and hit a pickup truck. That's not good. Not good at all. So before I said it was um, July 23rd, I was looking at my Qualcomm, which is Central Time, and well, it wasn't midnight yet. It's actually July 24th. And we're just pulling on a Carson a Loop Northwest here in Cottesville, Georgia. Yeah. I'm gonna pull into the terminal, uh, drop this loaded trailer, grab a empty. Then we're gonna scoot over about 60 some odd miles back to uh, Buford, which is over by Interstate I-85. And grab that loaded trailer, run up 85 to Anderson, um, and then go down through Anderson, through Abbeville to uh, Greenwood. Drop. Well, I shouldn't say drop or anything. Yeah. Probably live unloaded, my guess. And then figure out where we're gonna go from there. But we're just coming into Cartersville now. We'll drop this loaded trailer. Look, nice parking spot right here. Might be empty on my. Seal on both of them, so that ain't gonna happen. But we gotta find an empty somewhere. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey everyone, made it over here to Buford. Now gonna run around here. See if we can find my loaded trailer. Drop this. Get the loaded one. Hopefully it's already preloaded. We don't gotta wait. We can be live loaded.
get in and out of this place. All right, as you guys just saw, came in over there. I pulled up over there. Does not give you a lot of room to back into there. But hey, we got it done, so. It is what it is. Oh, if you're wondering, I have a different truck right now for a couple days. Uh, my truck's getting a Park put on it so preventative maintenance so this is a spare so anyways get on load here and find out where we're gonna head next hey good morning everyone just getting on 85 here in Charlotte the start of the day July 25th 2019 Thursday morning about 5 30 coming up to the weight scale We'll be good on weights. This the glass load we have, taking it back to Buford. But um, I could have started at um, midnight. We must go in. Must enter. all this morning but hey I could have left at midnight but I got up at 10 contacted dispatch said hey we got a pre-plan what's going on and um, I was told no pre-plan there's a list already so I said alrighty then and I went back to sleep I woke up about 5 o'clock I'm like hey good enough I'll get up now run down I'll be down in Buford about 9.30. That should give customer service plenty of time to find the slopes. So, that's what I'm doing. And we're coming in the scale house to get weighed here in a minute. North Carolina here, we just drive on, and we keep driving, unless they turn the um, light red. If they don't turn it red, then we just keep going. See? Just like that. Just keep on trucking. Hey guys, what's going on? Here are the labs in Charleston, Tennessee. Exit 31 off 75 or 34, maybe. I don't know. Tennessee, 75. Get my ice. Because the spare truck I'm in right now doesn't have a fridge. And let me show you this. And, well, there ain't no trailer. Let me get in the truck. I'll tell you what's going on. Hey, guys. Back in the truck here. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. All righty. So we're back in the truck. I'm now back up in Athens, Tennessee at our drop yard. So here's what happened. Uh, I've been running nights. I got up um, 10 o'clock last night so I could take off at midnight, see if I um, had a pre plan dispatch, said not a pre plan. Um, Southeast a little short this week, I guess, in freight. So I went back to bed because I weren't going to get up at midnight and run off if I didn't have a pre-plan when I was going to deliver at 4 a.m. Got up at 5, took off 5.30, delivered in Buford, and then get ready for dispatch, got a load, 
picking up um, in Fairburn, Georgia, running up to Shelby, North Carolina, but I couldn't deliver until after midnight. Well, no me, I'm a runner. I didn't want to wait around. So I asked dispatch if they had anything local I could do, um, short loads, and then I'd go pick up the Shelby load and run up there tonight. Or get close to it at least. And my dispatcher said, sure. Went to Cartersville, grabbed the load, brought it up here to our absence. Yeah, I dropped it. Well, there's no loads up here to head back to Dalton like we usually do. I guess the day cabber up here that shuttles the trails back and forth from here to the Shaw plant had to go home early for some reason, didn't tell Millis or something. I don't know. So there's no loads available. Won't be night shift doesn't come in until like eight, I guess, maybe seven, eight. So by then my 14 will be up. So I gotta wait until one for when my 10 comes back to grab a load and then head to Dalton with it and drop it. But but, 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 there's one little issue. Let me show you. That decided to come on when I was up here. Yep, yeah, I sure did. And right to the left of it, there was a little triangle, um, and I said stop in it, and bells were going off and everything. Never had that before. So I called Black River. They said get to a shop when I can. So the plan is for me to grab a load at one, hopefully, fingers crossed, they got some loaded over there because I even offered to go over the straw plant, which is really tight. That's why we got a day capper and um, grab it and take it down, which none was loaded, they said. So, fingers crossed, there's a load ready at 1 a.m. I'll run that to Dalton, go to Carsville. I believe the second shift goes home at 2.33, so I won't meet them. They'll already be gone, so I'll shut down uh, and go off duty again. And hopefully when someone comes in at 7, they can look at the truck. It's nothing major. So, I might lose two to three hours of my 14, but I also might get an eight or a 10 in, depending on what's going on with freight tomorrow. So, but you gotta run when the freight's available. So that's why I've been trying to maximize my sleep and what I'm running when I can get loads. And thankfully I get a great dispatch and we communicate great and she does everything she can to get me loads and get the miles. So, can't complain there. All right, stay tuned. I'll tell you what's going on in the morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. Heading down through the backwoods of Tennessee on Route 11 here. Heading down to Dalton. Finally got a load. Good news. My engine light went off, so now I don't have to go wait at the shop today. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. We're in Kershaw, South Carolina right now. This town doesn't let us go down through Main Street. And so we're in this residential area with these trees. But anyways, um, on our way to Pageland, South Carolina with a Walmart load. Picked it up down in, uh, where we picked that up at? Fairburn, Georgia this morning. And, um, so, it's about six o'clock on the 26th of July, 2019. And uh, let's see the street. I do it every time. It's up here, 601's up here. They put the signs a little before it, so. And it's a tight right turn here. But hey, good news. We uh, got the trucks turned back up to 66 today. So that's all good. Watch the trailer, the hood mirror. The trailer's good. Coming right on through here. We're about uh, 23 miles out right now. It's going to put me just shy of 2,700 miles for the week. And I'll still have probably about an hour and 40 minutes left to drive. My 14 surpassed my 11 now because I had to wait an hour and a half at the Cartersville shop. Get my truck turned back up to 66 today. So Lost a little time. Lost a little traffic time. Uh, lost a little time in traffic on I-20 in Columbia due to a wreck. So, a few things today. Nothing major. But we're doing good, just chugging along through Kershaw, South Carolina.
y'all. Just a quick update. It's been a long day. It's about 9.30 right now. I'm in Winsboro, South Carolina, off 77, exit 48 at the pilot. Just got myself some Wendy's. I got my next load. Heading to Central South Carolina. I believe I'm taking it to the drop yard. Excuse me. In Athens. Tennessee, where I spent last night. Damn light. But anyways, um, I don't think I'll end up taking it there. I'll probably drop it in Cartersville. But I'll let you know. But it's been a long day. This boy's got to get some rest. Good morning, everyone. It's the 28th of July, 2019. 7 o'clock, just leaving Cartersville. Yeah, Cartersville. We're leaving Albany here. Dead headed down yesterday. Went to the brewery. Went to go pick up my dentist clothes. Well, paperwork was not complete yet for some reason. Which is odd. The guy that does it won't be wouldn't be in until this morning. So I said I'd come back. So I came over here to the yard in Albany. Took my tan. Now we're gonna head over there. Really took her 12, but. I didn't want to get over there and wait and burn my clock because I want to get home today. And that's our pre-pass which is connected to our gate monitor which is closed and opens our gate for us. So, I slept in a tad bit so I'd make sure that these guys would be open because I want to make it home because I didn't make it home last weekend. I did get 3,001 miles last week. 3,001 miles I completed. So, winning, winning. Hey YouTube, don't know if you can see it or not, but the skyline of Charlotte is in the horizon. Just crossed the border back into North Carolina. And, uh, well, I don't remember where the last clip was that I left off at, but I think we were down in Albany, going into the brewery. Long story short, paperwork wasn't ready for the load that I was picking up of Dunnage, running it back up here in North Carolina. Told them I'd come back in the morning. Driller was loaded though. Went back this morning, no paperwork. Someone of authority was there, says that ain't good. Made a few phone calls, they're like, yeah, we're gonna have to unload it, recount everything, and then reload it. So, you better get a different load. So, contact the dispatch, and they got me another load. Same dunnage load, going up to Ridgeway, North uh, Ridgeway, Virginia, to contain a warehouse. So, I'm gonna drop this off at Eden Yard, and then I'm gonna go home. It's gonna be my first time home in two weeks. I've been out here running my face off. So, not too shabby. Do a 34, then I'll be back out early Wednesday, Tuesday morning. But we're just coming into Charlotte now. But hey, I hope you liked this video. I know it was a little long. And maybe rambling on, whatever. But, hey, it is what it is. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Ring the bell so you know every time that I upload a new video. And put a comment down below if you want. If not, oh well. Then you don't. But thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great week. And we will see you on the next video.